Hey everyone, Jack here, Talk Norwich City. Uh, thank you for clicking onto this video. I kind of expected you would, to be honest, the way I've titled it. Don't worry, this isn't going to be thrashing in to Tim Krull for the whole five minutes or whatever. Um, I just wanted to have a, a good discussion, basically. So I'm currently in London, hence why um, things are a bit chaotic at the moment, um, but they will settle out, the dust is settling, there's loads of cool stuff. Go over to my Twitter, I'm doing loads and loads of good content. Uh, or I hope it's good content for the racing post. Um, and I'm also living with a good friend of mine called Owen. Now, Owen is really into his stats, his figures. He sits in the living room and plots really cool graphs um, and stuff. And he showed me a really cool website called Stats Bomb. Now, you all know how much we've discussed Tim Krull for the past season, it's ever since he signed. I've had a certain opinion. Other people have had their opinions. We've settled somewhere in the middle. Um, and a company called Statsbomb have done a Norwich City season preview um, where it goes into a lot of facts and figures, many of which I don't fully understand. Um, but there's some really interesting um, comparisons with Ralph Farman and Tim Krul. Now, Ralph Farman was, of course, brought in from Schalke, incredibly high, highly rated out in Germany. Tim Krul was our first choice goalkeeper last season, who did, on the whole, a fairly good job. Now, um, I want to read to you a couple of paragraphs here. So Statsbomb um, have, have talked about different players and how he played last season. And they get onto Tim Krul and they said, but there have been f a few incomings. The most expensive new arrival, at least in terms of the fee, is the reported £2.7 million paid for the season-long loan of Schalke goalkeeper Ralph Farman. So let's break that bit apart, first of all. I think a lot of people forget that there's often fees involved with loans, whether that's upfront payments, um, whether that's through the, through the um, wages. Ralph Farman is, of course, a very highly rated player. He will be on a significant wage, and all of that put together is worth around £2.7 million. And according to Statsbomb, that's more than we've paid for Sam Byron, Patrick Roberts, Josip Dermich. So this is a man who isn't going to be coming in on the cheap, which suggests to me, and I don't know fully, but it suggests to me that Stuart Webber isn't going to be bringing in a £2.7 million goalkeeper for the season if he wants him to sit on the bench. Yes, he could challenge Tim Krul, and yes, it's good competition, but it just says to me, hang on a minute, this isn't going to be a man who's going to be sitting on the bench. Next up, uh, he's brought in as competition for last season's number one, Tim Krul, and it wouldn't be a at all surprising if he becomes first choice at some point in the campaign. Krull ranked 18th out of 37 for the all goalkeepers who made at least 10 starts in the championship last season in terms of our shot stopping ratings and conceded 3.44 more goals than the average goalkeeper could have expected to. So we've probably all heard of expected goals. That's where um, it takes facts and figures and then says this is the amount of goals you should have scored from your chances and this is the amount of goals you actually did so depending on whether you're below or you're above that shows your quality in a sense and a lot of companies are now using expected goals in terms of expected goals conceded it's similar but on the opposite so if you concede more than your expected goals you're not performing to a high enough standard that's what Tim Krul has done here he's he conceded three nearly three and a half more goals than the average goalkeeper could have expected to. Ralph Farman, in contrast, ranked eighth out of the 22 in the Bundesliga by the same measurements and conceded 1.7 goals fewer, so the opposite, um, than the average goalkeeper could have expected to. So if we're looking at just that stat, which is a fairly important one, Ralph Farman is absolutely streaks ahead. Statsbomb then go on to say, of course, there's a more work out of a goalkeeper than simply stopping shots. Yet, while Farman may not necessarily be able to match the intangibles that Tim Krull provides, Stuart Webber went on record and said he's helped in our dressing room in terms of being a leader and culture. Um, he's the guy that leads the culture in that dressing room, among others. And of course, Stuart Webber's come on our very own podcast and said openly that Tim Krull, he thought, was his best signing. Now, I put this tweet out and I said... Um, it's going to be really interesting to see who's number one next season. If we look at stats, it's certainly not going to be Tim Krull. Ian Clark, my good friend Ian Clark from the EDP, said definitely Tim to start for me. Loyalty to the runaway title winners is the theme, and he played every minute of every single game. On the flip side, it was about a 50-50 split of opinions, really, which is always good to see. Daniel Philpott says, game isn't about sentiment, I'm afraid. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see. I think this is going to be the main position 
that's up for grabs, the goalkeeper um, position. I can see Tim Krul starting the first game because I think everyone does deserve a chance and I genuinely do hold that opinion. If they got us up last season, I think the majority will be given that. But if I'm going to put my money, money anywhere, I can see Tim Krul being dropped within the first month, within the first calendar month. I just think that Ralph Farman is the better goalkeeper. If we're going on stats and we're going on figures and we're going on history, Ralph Farman outweighs Tim Krul. Um But who knows? Um, as Stats Bomb said in that final paragraph, it's very hard to measure the intangibles and a lot of our success last season was built on the intangibles. So I think the key theme here is do we stick to what got us up in terms of really trusting that really human nature of... Lead, leadership and passion and and that ability to organise your defensive line or do we go on expected saves and saves per game and how many goals you've conceded? I don't know. There's a lot of people who trust the stats. There's a lot of people that trust the human nature. I just think it's a really interesting argument. So please do feel free to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. Who would be your goalkeeper to start on the opening day, which is next Friday? It's come around so quickly, hasn't it? at Liverpool. Um, I'm so excited. I think it'll be Tim Krul. I think Ralph Farmer will come in about the fourth game and stay there for the rest of the season. Who knows? Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to all of our sponsors. Also, if you haven't already, we've released an audio exclusive podcast with Jens Bertalascu. Uh, Chris has uh, launched a new series where he's going to be calling up his old pals who played for the club. Um, it's really good, actually. Jens Bertalascu, what an absolute boy. Uh, go over to wherever you listen to your podcasts or it's linked in the description below. Um, and also, I'm going to link a few videos at the end that I've been making over with the Racing Post. Norwich City are discussed, so they are worth a watch as well. Thanks very much for tuning in and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.